stage one, 20 laps. Brett Moffitt in the 24, Todd Gilliland in the four on the front row, and we're green and racing at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. From the highest point of the course coming off turn 10 to the start finish line down to the lowest as they get to turn two, a 155 foot drop in elevation. That just sounds fun. You get to go downhill, get, get all wound up and start this race off. The Ankara trying to go around the outside. Ben Rhodes, the 99 block truck on the inside. Now Harrison Burton is side by side with Ankara. Trying to sort themselves out back in the pack, but at the front, single file with Brett Moffat and Todd Gilliland, one, two. Great look from the bumper of the 17 of Tyler Ankrum, and that is Harrison Burton just ahead of him. Slowest part of the racetrack, as Michael said, about 40, 45 miles an hour, all the way up to 165 or 70 as you get up in high gear. Climbing up the hill and then crest to turns eight, nine, and 10. This sequence has provided so much drama at this race course in years past. We expect more of the same today, side by side with Ross Chastain and Alex Tagliani for third. Looked like Alex gave him a little bit of room. Ross stuck his nose up there for just a second. Rafael Lassard gather it up after going around. How about that save? Pick a spot. We've got another spin here, the 56. That's Bobby Roos. Roos was able to get it straightened out right there on the front stretch. How about that? That was a fancy slide. Yes, it was. Covered nicely. Roos and his brother Roger both racing in this event here today. Part of Jordan Anderson's three truck allotment. And uh, how about that? Well done. Yeah, flag stand got a nice view of that. They, he landed right underneath them. That flag stand could tell stories. It's <laughs> a basis on board. And Todd Gilliland has gone around. Gilliland was running second and some heavy contact on the left side of his truck. Right there in Moss Corner with the slowest part of the racetrack that we were talking about. And we're stay green. You have to wonder if maybe he had some sort of a brake issue, maybe some wheel hop. Michael getting into, getting into turn number five. Ross Chastain was behind him. Pretty significant tire rub on that left front. Have to get right to pit road. You can be within about, if you're about 35 seconds behind our leader, you can get to pit road and have a normal pit stop, but I don't think it's going to be a normal pit stop for that truck. Of Crafton and Infinger and Sauter, and here's that accident involving the four of Todd Gilliland. Need to chase those points, remember. And Brett Moffitt, we oh. talked about, oh, contact from teammate. Sauter spins Moffitt, or spins uh, Infinger around, and that is going to create some hard feelings. Look at Stuart Friesen trying to get by him, Finger, and he does for a position. He laps of stage one. <laughs> Sauter gets into that uh, right rear of Infinger and spins Infinger around. Fortunately, no wall contact for Infinger, but you got to believe he's not too happy with the way his teammate drove him right there. Nice job by Infinger. I'm, I'm going to need your space, buddy. <laughs> Have to move over. It went, style. it went according to plan for Brett Moffat, stage one winner, and he led them all. Back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, and we are under caution. Dan Corcoran, one of the seven drivers from Canada in this field here today, has gone around and come to a stop, brought out the caution. That has, that's a weird looking spin, maybe. Ooh, heavy contact too. Could he have? Meant to upshift and downshift it and maybe spun maybe the rear grab, tires around. Maybe grab second instead of fourth. Yeah. On the final lap here in stage two, Chastain heading to the green and white checkers for his fifth stage win of the season. Ross Chastain wins stage two in Canada. Anything until he sees that checkered flag, and there will be one lap remaining for his driver, Brett Moffitt. Well, it takes a little over 80 seconds to run a lap here, and that's how long Jerry Baxter will hold his breath. <laughs> on this lap. Good battle for second between Tagliani and Rhodes, and that's kind of been the kind of day it has been. Everybody fighting for second, second in class because Brett Moffat's been in a class by his own today.
wide turn for Tagliani, but Rhodes not close enough to make a run at it. Nice job for Tagliani to jump in here in, a, in one of the KBM's trucks and give it a good ride. Second, second place finish in a row for that 51 truck if he holds on to second here. Oh, he <laughs> looks like Ben is trying to hop in that corner a little hot. Maybe heat up the back end of that 51 truck. Slid the front tires. Tagliani's wife, Bronte, celebrating a birthday today, and I know Alex was hoping that he could give her the birthday present in victory lane, but not going to happen for Tagliani today as Rhodes continues to chase him for third, but it's all for second, but it's all going to be Brett Moffitt. Well, ben Rhodes is not satisfied to run third here. He wants that second spot for the second straight race and the fourth consecutive playoff race. Brett Moffitt wins at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And the GMS team celebrates another victory. And it was a dominant performance from the 24 group today. Brett Moffitt didn't put a wheel out of place, and Jerry Baxter gave him a perfect machine, and Moffitt took care of business. Saw the 0-2 of DJ Kennington going around after Moffitt took the checkered flag. Let's hear from that winning crew chief. Well, Jerry, congratulations on back-to-back -back wins to start this playoffs. I knew you felt like your truck was good, but did you have any idea it was this good? We kind of had an idea it was good on the long haul yesterday, kind of like Bristol was. It didn't fire off as good as we wanted. It made a little bit of air pressure, and it f fired off better. But how about it for GMS and GMS Fab and and our new and our new sponsor, CMR Construction, and, and uh, everybody involved, Chevy Silverado. It's a, it's a great day. These guys are going to victory lane, back-to-back -back wins here in the playoffs. What an impressive way to start the championship run and Brett Moffat defending his championship from a year ago. You know, we saw DJ Kennington going around and he got some help for sure. That's a message being delivered by Austin Wayne Self. I think it may be just a spot he wanted to. Uh, DJ didn't look like he did anything wrong there. Austin Wayne had a bit of a run going into that corner. We've seen the two of them side by side and uh, be scraping doors a couple of times throughout the day, so maybe they were just tired of looking at one another. <laughs> and there's the look inside the cockpit of the 51 truck and Alex Tagliani, who finishes second to nice. Brett Moffitt. Nice way to say thank you to a new sponsor on the side of your truck, isn't it? Just take them to Victory Lane. See more construction there on Brett's truck. Got enough gas to do a burnout. See, they weren't worried at all, Phil. That's right, they had to cool down lap and enough uh, fuel to do this burnout here. And after Moffitt won the championship last year with back-to-back -back wins to finish the season at ISM and then Homestead and then opening up the playoffs with wins at Bristol and here in Canada. And this guy is playoff ready. And two separate organizations, two separate teams, but Moffitt still with the same result. I think that playoff mustache worked last year for him, and he kept it all year long. <laughs> we'll see everybody show up in Vegas with those mustaches. I hope not, man. <laughs> he did it. Brett Moffitt in dominating fashion. The winner in Canada.